Hi everyone, this is Stephanie from Party Girl Events. I have this box from Minted. These are save the dates I need to get into the mail. So I thought it would be a good idea to do a save the date video. If you would like to see what's inside the box and learn more about save the dates, keep watching. This is a save the date card. It goes really well with the theme of my client's wedding. It has a thick card stock and a letter press. The save the date we wanted doesn't exist, so we used Minted's custom design function. All that goes on the save the date are the date, the location, and the wedding website. There are a lot of ways to address an envelope. This is a formal wedding, so we have it Mr. and Mrs. Martin Walsh. Savannah is their daughter, and I have the rest of their address covered up to protect their privacy. I also want to mention that the fonts that we're using on the Save the Dates are going to be used for all the stationery with this wedding. It's part of the style. And this is important because the Save the Dates are the first thing that your guests are going to see. So you want to make a good impression. We also got custom stamps. We chose to have the couple's address on the back, but you don't have to do it this way. And that's it for Save the Dates. They're ready to go in the mail. I recommend doing save the dates after the wedding website and we're, I'm in Vail, Colorado so all my clients are destination weddings so we like to send them six to eight months before the wedding.